It's the story of an unlikely friendship found in an unlikely place. A story brought to us tonight by 207's Beth McAvoy. Hey, Beth. Hey, guys. At first glance, Etta is like most three-year-olds. She loves the color purple, and she gets excited for snack time. But one of her best friends just happens to be a 95-year-old veteran with a less than perfect memory. <laughs> I'm in heaven. 95-year-old veteran Stanley Rotman doesn't always remember much these days. You much we heard? Yeah. But he does remember his dear friend, three-year-old Etta Morse. Wow. They met at a music class at Avida, an assisted care facility in Wells, where Stanley now lives. Where is Ada? Where is Ada? There she is. There she is. Every Friday, moms bring their young children to sing and play with the seniors who suffer from dementia and Alzheimer's. I have no idea when it actually started. Um, they just kind of had a little connection, and she. Passing out instruments always went to him, and she ended up loading him up one day with like eight instruments and didn't pass them out to anybody else. So it just kind of started this thing. Good night, Mom. Good night, Stanley is not always an early riser, but on Fridays, Avita staff just mention Etta's name, and he gets ready for their visits. Hi, baby. <laughs> they usually include a lot of hugs. You are beautiful. And what did we bring him for his birthday? A um, cupcake. A cupcake. It was so good. <laughs> and I had a purple cupcake. You had a purple one. <laughs> I just adore her. Yeah. That's too hard for me. Do you think it's too hard for him? I can teach you. You can teach me? Yep. Oh, yep, OK. The only reason I go. Okay. Boy, you're way ahead of me. I mean, I like music, <laughs> but I like this one better. My turn? Yep. yep. Pick a card? Yep. 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 I love it. I'd like to hear her say, yep. yep. <laughs> better, Edda? Yep. Yep. I think that there's that just a feeling between them that they, they know that they just love each other and care about each other. For both Stanley and Edda, their unlikely love story has been a blessing for them both. I got a hug to you. Aren't they adorable? And Edda's and Stanley's friendship continues to grow. And get this, I was talking to Edda's mom, and she told me recently Edda found out she couldn't marry her brother. She was kind of crushed. Aww. And she, then she said, Mom, that's okay. I'll just marry Stanley. <laughs> So they're, they're just an adorable pair, and they really, they just love each other. You were telling me, too, that they spent Halloween they, together? She, she goes over all the time because she's like, Mom, I want to see Stanley, I want to see Stanley. So they do the music class, she goes over, they play games, she showed him her costume. She just loves Stanley. Do you know what her costume was? She was really cute. She was a little lion. <gasps> With purple? Aww. If you know what, she a didn't have any line. purple for Halloween. I'm sure she found some. <laughs> That's a little disappointing. Yeah. It's really sweet. What a great story. Yeah, they're just a cute, cute friends. Oh, thanks, Beth. Thanks, Beth.